Welcome to Outside Explorer. I'm Link, this is Maria. We're from Rock Climb, Montana, and we're gonna do some climbing today. beautiful spot in northwest Montana and these guys are going to teach us a little bit about climbing. What kind of climbing are we going to do today, Link? Well, there's three types of climbs. Uh, there's top rope, there's sport climbs, and there's trad climbs. All right, let's go climb. We said that we're going to start with some top rope climbing. And what that means is we're going to fix our ropes up top so that they're always, the anchors are always above the climber, so that way the climber's always safe. Sometimes you have existing anchors that are drilled into the top of the cliff, and other times you use natural anchors. For example, this tree is not going anywhere, so we're gonna use that as an anchor. We're gonna set up the second anchor now because two anchors, safer than one. We wanna be doubly safe when we climb. We've hiked down to the bottom of the climb now, and uh, Mari is going to climb it, and I'm going to teach Tirza how to belay. So, driving in here, you would never know that this beautiful of a spot exists. We got out of the car and hiked down a little bit. Super easy hike, but then it opens up into a magical climbing wonderland. It's really beautiful. We just finished another top rope climb. Super safe. I've, I've coached a lot of different sports. And those other sports, you can fall down it. But in this sport, with the top rope, if you do it properly, you can't fall, which makes it a safe, fun sport for pretty much everyone. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull down the rope and move it, and we're gonna go and do a sport climb. A Little more challenge, a little more adrenaline rush. So sport climbing is, like I say, a bit more dangerous because you can actually take a fall. Now the rope will catch you, it's dynamic rope, kind of bungee-like, so generally you're, you're going to still be safe as long as you don't deck. Decking is where you hit a ledge or you hit the ground before the rope catches you. So a little bit of risk. But if you know your ability and you stay within your ability levels, uh, it can be a fun, exhilarating way to climb. And for some climbs, uh, it may be the only way to the top. So thanks to these guys, we've learned about top roping and sport climbing. But Link, what do you do if there's no bolts in the wall? Well, then we have to put our own forms of protection in the wall like these little cams that you squeeze them, they go in, you release them, they get bigger and they can't come out. That's called traditional or trad climbing. I'm Belay. Belay is on. Climbing. That's the end of another fabulous day of climbing. Thank you guys so much. Today we learned a little bit about top roping, a little about sport climbing, and a little bit about trad climbing. I think for me, I'm gonna stick with sport climbing and take a, until I take a few more lessons with okay. you, if that's all right. <laughs> and if uh, folks at home wanna learn how to climb, how can they get in touch with you? RockClimbMontana.com. Stay tuned for more Outside Explorer.